All right, so the Glide Zeus Water Skip Disc came out today in a pack that's available for purchase in the Pro Shop. And I uh, picked it up and then I wanted to compare it to Gould and the Rive versions, um, which I happen to have. I got this uh, Gould on a level up the other day. I replaced the yellow one that I bought in the shop two days before that. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, I wanted to try them out side by side, um, and I think one of the better holes to test them on is Lakeside Hole 5. Now, if you don't know, any tailwind here, and uh, there's a lot of water skip discs that will get you to the Easy Eagle. But in a headwind, it becomes a little different story. You can come up short, uh, and in the other wind direction, if you've got a three headwind coming out of the right uh, for a righty anyway um, I haven't been able to get any of these three discs uh, to the green they all go for a swim um, and so I, I'm not going to use that wind because then it would just be a video of me throwing disc in the water which is not very exciting uh, just know that uh, it, at least I couldn't do it maybe somebody else can but uh I couldn't get any of these three discs over when that headwind is uh, out of the right. So that's going to be a layup play. And there's a couple lines you can use, even with the water skip, I think. You can try to cross in this area right here using the bottom chevron. Uh, or you can try to go to the right of this tree here. And it's a little, the water is a little narrower, but uh, then you risk when you challenge this tree. Uh, this thing has like iron branches, uh, dead stop, uh, usually. So don't like to bring that tree into play, uh, if I don't have to. So, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to slide over here to the left and give the, give all three discs, uh, a few shots with, um, a, quite a bit of Anheuser to try to get over to this area right about here. Like I say, the where the water is kind of narrow. If you get into this part over here, we might see a couple of them where the water gets wider. Um, that's when you increase your chances of taking a swim. Uh, so let's put the middle chevron right there on the bank of the middle island. And again, we're gonna start with the Gould. See how it looks. That's a little too much Anheuser. and almost made it still all right let's try again release angle is uh very critical here all right that's where i want to be just to the right of that rock is perfect and i just made it 487 uh and again this is a three headwind so that's quite a accomplishment uh, that's a little too much. These these big bombers, they go a long distance, but they're also uh, touchy sometimes on their release angle. Uh, that's not bad. All right, let's uh, try one more, see if I can get a little better release angle. Somewhere about right here. Wait for the sailboat to pass. That's better. And there's a little bit wider part of the water here. That's not going to make it. So as you can see, um, there are some winds where even with these big bomber water skips, you're not going to make it. Uh, and so, you know, one of my fears early on was this was going to turn into a an easy eagle regardless of wind condition. And um, I think that's been alleviated because there's definitely some winds that will, this is one of them. That will make uh, the water skip disc uh, challenging, if not uh, impossible. All right, one more with the Gould here. That's my best shot so far. That's going to make it. So that was very nice. 529. So, all right, so now we'll go to the Rive. And same thing. I think the Rive's got maybe a little less turn than the Gould, but more fade. 
So that's a really nice shot right off the bat. Uh, 506. Okay. But it made it. So anything that makes it's going to be an easy eagle. Just got to get to the dry land. So let's give it another couple shots. A little too much. And that hit the iron tree. And one more here, let's see. A little less Anheuser. Anytime you're over that rock right there or to the right of it, that's pretty good. All right, so the ride makes it uh, in the three headwind out of the left, at least also. Now we'll take a look at the Zeus. And I haven't thrown this a whole lot, so I think it's kind of close to the ride. So let's see. All right, that's a really good crossing point. And 488, but it made it, so, but just barely. Try a couple more, maybe three, two, three more. See, that's pretty good too, as long as it doesn't hit that rock, and it did. All right, let me raise it up a little bit. I think my aim point might have dropped. Uh, if you don't know when you're throwing shots, repeat, uh, just re-throw, re-throw. The aim point does shift a little bit, so you got to check that. I forgot about it. So let's see. Something about right here. That might be okay. Well, let's get into the little bit wider part. Nope. Okay. Just didn't get the, uh, didn't seem to get the water skip that I was getting with the other ones for some reason. Try one more, maybe two if I hit this rock again. Okay. All right, made it that time. So, yeah, 518. So you can see, I think they all three are actually pretty comparable. It probably comes down to what flight uh, shape you prefer. Uh, I think for now, I think I'll stick with the Gould. It just seems to have, in some winds, a little more distance. And it's got uh, the shape that I prefer. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something. We'll see you around the valley.